Okay, we're running a boot time scan with a vast on the uh, Dell 1525 laptop. This will take a while. Um, I've already ran uh, ESET and uh, there was a Vira uh, rescue USB stick. Uh, I think a couple of things cleaned out each time. And then I ran Clam AV from my. Uh, Fedora 21 system, which is on the laptop, it's a dual boot system, and um, this is Windows 7. I'm trying to uh, scanning, and there was a few things on there, and a bunch of old uh, quarantine files from uh, Spybot Search and Destroy, which I had to uninstall because it was using up too much memory, and I couldn't get it to stop running in the background. Uh, so I had to install that a while back and uninstalled it and uh, But the darn thing is still using up just sitting there nothing running but just booted up running 50% of the CPU something is in the What's it called SVC host? execute.exe file and There's a bunch of them really. I mean got that awful crooked don't I? Uh, there's a bunch of files that are all worked together under that SVC host. And so it's pretty hard to just pin them, you know. Uh, there's one file that it's waiting on it, evidently. That you can right click on it in the uh, Windows 7 uh, system monitor program. And uh, there's one file that's that it's waiting on it to finish, and it's the same one every time. Um, and it uh, seems to be hung up, but I have no idea why. And it, you can get into weeks of research trying to figure all that out. I used to do it back when I used Windows all the time, when I, back in the XP days. But uh, I just figure it may be some sort of rootkit or some sort of malware that's caused it. Usually is when something weird like that happens. And uh, so I don't know if I can't if I don't find get it uh, get it figured out by just running these scanners and cleaning it up. If there's anything there at all bad, then you know you don't want it in there. And uh, if that don't fix it, then if I want to continue to use a Windows 7, then I'll just reformat it and start over. That'd be easier than going on and on trying to find that one little thing that's screwing it up. Yeah, it's it's had so many things in it lately anyway. I've said in my other videos, it's uh, usually one, uh, there, there's so many, I, don't, I have lost count, you know, I think there's been 10 plus uh, bad files I've found in the last month or so, so, there, it, you know, there's probably something that hiding that no, none of these malware detectors can completely clean up and uh, probably reduplicate, you know, duplicating it, so. Not as bad as I have seen, you know, I've seen worse, but uh, just crawling through the whole system, but used to call them worms, I guess they still do, but uh, everybody always just talks about rootkits now, I guess it's because it's the most commonly used thing, but, uh, and one of the worst, because they can really hide, but rootkits can uh, hide and then uh, download, either uh, duplicate themselves or download other things from their command and control servers and uh, spread throughout systems, spread throughout the network, you know, so and some of them now, you know, I run Linux and I usually don't have very seldom have trouble, but you know, some of them are getting to where they cross platform, they can infect Linux, Mac, and, you know, Android, everything Android's based on Linux, so let this run and see what happens uh, see if uh, Vast finds anything. That's what I run as my real-time virus scanner, and it's pretty good. It's one of the best, but it doesn't matter what you got. Something will get by it, you know. Uh, anyway, it's done. Bye.